Yo, what is up guys? This is Troy D from the Troy D 24-7 Mall channel, On Point Reviews, all day, every day. Man, 2020 is finally ending and I do pray and hope that 2021 gets better, guys, okay? So welcome again to the channel. To my subscribers who just came in, welcome to you guys. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be amazing today. We are going to talk about a famous YouTuber fragrance recently released, guys, okay? And this nice man actually sent me the whole set. This is basically Galleria Parfums, all right, by Ashton of Gents Sense, okay? Gents Sense is obviously one of the most established, if not the most established uh, channel here in YouTube. You know, 100K followers, ridiculous. And finally, you know, he's moving forward. You know, he's evolving, guys. So now he has his own line here, Galleria Parfums. This is uh, basically the set. This is the sample set, the discovery set. And this one includes several fragrances, guys, okay? And so comment below. If there's something that you want me to oh wow it smells good just <laughs> having it right here if there's something here you want me to review okay comment below immediately okay comment below immediately so I know you know where your curiosities are at guys okay so this is it right here thank you Ashton it also comes with a gift card right here so basically if you buy the full bottles eventually then you'll get some discounts okay that is the discovery set now why am I getting into this stuff? Why, why am I reviewing this stuff anyways? Well, it's the same reason I went with uh, Dua from like not reviewing Dua to reviewing Dua. It's just because, I mean, over time, things just improve. You know what I mean? And this is why, you know, I gotta say like to those people that are hating, hating on the channel, hating on me, like, you know, all they do is point out things in the past, but you know what guys, like things just improve, okay? I improve as a person. I just remember like the first review I ever did, like a year ago. Yeah, it's nothing like now obviously, right? Because really everything improves, okay? And if you're all about progress, you're gonna love this whole YouTuber fragrance thing because they're really taking it to the next level. Now, why this one though? This is the fragrance I wanna review today. This is none other than Cognac Cafe. Cognac Cafe by Galleria Parfums. Here's the reason, guys. First and foremost, who made this? Okay, Ashton is in charge of, of course, the overall direction. But who really made the perfume? It is the perfumer that made all of this. All of this. <laughs> okay, yeah. Is the perfumer that's making all your favorite by Killian fragrances. Let that sink for a second before you start judging the YouTubers. Because, and, and this is something that, I mean, I figured out also when I reviewed Buck's fragrance, which was Navitus. The person that made Buck's fragrance was the guy that made Chypre Palatine. Chypre Palatine, the one that I was saying like a few days ago, I was saying, man, this is so awesome. Well, it's the same guy that made it. Crazy. So in this case, guys, the perfumer of these by Killian classics, Black Phantom, Apple Brandy, Straight to Heaven, Straight to Heaven Extreme, guys, is Sydney Lancashire. She's the one that made Cognac Cafe. There you go. That's one of the big reasons. And you know I just reviewed Apple Brandy. So, I mean... For me, I was like, oh, this is a no-brainer, you know? And of course, guys, because, you know, I've talked to Ashton, you know, such a really great guy. Actually, a lot of the things we do talk about have nothing to do with fragrances. But when I do ask, he gives me the answers, okay? He talked about Mandalorian and Lord of the Rings. Really cool stuff. Anyways, so when I asked about this, okay, one of the things that maybe, you know, you guys don't know is that he increased the budget for these perfumers to play a little bit more in making these creations, okay? So normally, uh, these perfumers have a budget, but in this case, Ashton increased that budget by 25%. And that's why there's a lot of perfumers now that want to work with Galleria Parfums. And he did share me the list, the star-studded list for next year. And... I can't say it right now, but I'm telling y'all, it's gonna be crazy if you look into it, okay? But definitely this one right here, guys, it's Sydney Lancashire, the perfumer of Black Phantom, the perfumer of Apple Brandy and Straight to Heaven. Ridic, okay? So, 
With that being said, it's time to review Cognac Cafe. Let's hit the music. <laughs> Okay, we're back guys. Cognac Cafe by Ashton's brand, Galleria Parfums. Let's go spray this right now. Mmm, whoo, amazing. Mm. So when we think about coffee guys, coffee fragrances, naturally we think about darker, uh, fragrances specifically for the fall kind of like heavy and dark okay this one right here is quite the opposite actually or it's not really on that darker side of things okay in this case guys cognac cafe opens with coffee steam which is an accord made by Sydney which is not really like roasted coffee but it's like a frothy airy type of coffee so that's what you'll get in the beginning. You're gonna get this frothy, you could say milk and cream plus coffee, lighter and airy from the get-go guys, okay? And a strong dose of sweet almond, okay? So I will say this guys, that the almond sets the tone, sort of like the vanillic tone for the rest of this fragrance, but it's almond and coffee uh, steam or coffee froth okay so that's the beginning part okay and then after that and this is something I pointed out to Ashton there are a couple of notes that come in you got brown sugar and you got licorice okay so licorice and brown sugar really really great combination guys I mean it really does change things because you know I think that you know doing almond all the way I think it might be pretty played out you know for uh, for fall winter fragrances right but right here guys it's like you're gonna get a curve of brown sugar and that you know slight anise smelling licorice right there as a as a twist so you're really not you know bored with the fragrance it's gonna be coffee and almond kind of predictable and then bam coffee and anise now later on guys you're gonna get a green note which is basically papyrus okay papyrus is a green woody note that comes in afterwards and in my opinion this is the one that replaces cardamom you know in most coffee fragrances with cardamom usually it's a green note somewhat spicy but in this case guys the papyrus that comes in is green and woody okay slightly spicy but I would say more woody and green probably even mossy in a way okay so the green note of papyrus definitely comes in it's a stronger note here in the mid part and of course you also have the coffee the African coffee and now the coffee actually intensifies here one thing you'll notice with the progression of cognac coffee is that it gets progressively stronger okay you spray it two times and it gets stronger it might be a mild coffee but then the almond hits and then later on the papyrus and then the coffee intensifies from the froth to the actual coffee now still the coffee here is quite sweet it's airy and it's still not like that dark roasted type of coffee and then of course you got sandalwood come in and it becomes woodier as it goes towards the dry down as expected guys but to me guys, like first and foremost, from the start to the mid, I would say this is for like a day-to-day. -day. It's like a it's like a day-to-day -day cool weather fragrance. Okay, not super cold like winter, but sort of like how it is right now in LA or San Diego, for example. You know, you do have like some cool mornings and evenings, and then right in between, it's kind of okay. I think that this is for that kind of weather. You could say uh, autumn spring type weather uh, this is the coffee fragrance for that okay because like I said it's airy and it's sweet also you are going to get on the mid notes you're gonna get that cognac accord now the cognac accord comes in guys it is not super strong okay matter of fact it's just blended in I think to balance this sweetness and that airiness okay cognac accord comes in smells great not too boozy guys okay and you know the impression that you're gonna get right here is it's like coffee liquor rather than you know cognac beating out the coffee it's like coffee liquor with that almond that sweet almond it 
smells more like that okay so i would say that the cognac here is quite secondary to the coffee but it nevertheless it balances everything out guys okay with the sandalwood it balances the sweetness it balances the airiness of cognac cafe actually contrary to something dark guys the thing i get here is basically the picture of a cafe like a daytime cafe modern daytime cafe whether it's in england or here or in asia but just a nice daytime scenario at a cafe that's what i get here guys okay so it's quite the opposite of like the dark uh image when you think about uh coffee fragrances this is just like a light cafe nice day-to-day -day type of fragrance i like how the notes of this fragrance basically linger around me okay i mean it's really nice like i said before i like how the licorice brown sugar like lingers around me and in this case i really like how there's that papyrus that green note that lingers around here now towards the dry down it gets a lot woodier and that's you know with the oak barrel accord that's also made by sydney right here i mean the oak barrel accord to me i mean how does it compare to say apple brandy is not as strong as something you see at apple brandy but i think it's still there it gets like really nice woody like i said different uh, cedar woods is definitely i'm sure on that and then you have the oak wood smells really great but it gets ambery i mean as expected because of that uh, almond in the beginning it sort of continues this almond vanilla uh tone to this entire fragrance continues all the way till the end so you're gonna get vanilla you're gonna get amber wood and you're gonna get that oak wood accord oak barrel accord rather and then you're also going to get myrrh so there's a nice amount of mirror here in the dry down to just finish things off okay but nevertheless guys definitely vanilla amber woody towards the dry down oh i will say this that this fragrance is highly highly unisex okay my wife who really doesn't care so much about fragrance basically said this one smells good i will wear this one okay so that's what she said okay is really not the usual coffee fragrance in my opinion that you would expect that the guys would be like wearing because it's a lot more macho but i think that it's just airy and sweet and with that you know nice cognac the woodiness i think that this could be a lovely day-to-day -day fragrance for both guys and gals i mean for the gals i think y'all are gonna like this right here because it has that sweetness that i think the women will really like and then the coffee is a different type of coffee it goes with an airy touch right there i think this is something that y'all girls will probably wear when you're out having brunches with your girlfriends right it, i mean it's really really nice guys and for the guys if you are done with those dark coffee fragrances and you're looking for a fragrance that is a little bit different it's quite the opposite of that then definitely cognac cafe is something that you should try performance wise guys it's great again it intensifies because in the beginning it's just that coffee steam accord and then it turns into coffee but the almond is pretty strong here and the vanilla so i would say that the performance here is really really nice i think it blasts out it's strong uh it's definitely not weak and definitely lasts a good amount of time for me i think i have enough time to really enjoy the intensity of this fragrance and i'm indoors right now and usually is you know better outdoors so i would say that this one projections very good sillage very good and definitely you will enjoy it once you're wearing this thing okay so that's it that is my review of cognac cafe from galleria performs first and foremost i want to thank ashton for sending this over uh it's a really nice uh box right here discovery set it's got seven fragrances so i mean really this is really nice too you guys can try the different fragrances like i said and pick what you want now let me know in the comments like i said what you guys want next i know that a couple of people are saying that it should be victorian tobacco so please reaffirm that comment below if that's the case if that's really what you guys want i will do it before the end of the year okay definitely before the end of the year and i would say that the last five reviews of 2020 are going to be insane okay i handpicked them they're going to be insane guys so make sure you watch out for the last five reviews of 2020 and again i want to thank you guys for watching the videos for trusting me i know that you guys are watching this because this is a no hype okay no hype super objective review okay so Thank you for supporting the channel. Do not forget to like and subscribe if you're down with Troy D. If you're down with Ashton, 
like and subscribe as well guys i appreciate you guys and i'll see you on the next video tomorrow god bless you all peace